Andy the Animal Ambulance is visiting Number Zoo today. He's here to pick up a poorly monkey and take her over to Dr Poppy's Pet Rescue Centre. Oh dear, what's happened to poor Andy? He's picked up his poorly passenger, but those cheeky monkeys have torn off his flashing lights. And he's covered in banana skins. Drive over to Gecko's garage and we'll get you fixed up as quickly as possible. Before we can check you over, we need to clean off all those banana skins. Time for a quick trip through the truck and car wash. That's better. Now we can see the damage those pesky monkeys have caused. Come into the garage and we'll take a good look at you. Those naughty monkeys. Your wipers and mirrors have been torn off, as well as your flashing lights. Talking of monkeys, we'd better check on your patient. Go, go, mechanicals! Oh no, the patient isn't here. She must have escaped. She's not in the ambulance. Where can she have gone? Hey, put that down. No, that's very expensive. Catch that monkey. Oh dear, I think I'll have to call Dr Poppy for help. Hello, Gecko. Is everything okay? How is that sore arm of yours healing? Oh, fine, thanks to you, Dr Poppy. But I have another problem right now. Andy the Animal Ambulance is in the garage for repairs but the patient he was bringing to you has escaped and she's wrecking my garage. That sounds like Mabel the monkey. She is a cheeky monkey. Can you catch her? She's too fast and she's throwing things around like crazy. Try playing some gentle music to calm her down. Then put some bananas into the back of the ambulance and she might go back in by herself. OK, thanks Dr Poppy. We'll give that a try. Bye. That monkey is a handful, even though her tail is floppy, but she's safely back where she belongs, all thanks to Dr Poppy. The mechanicals have fixed you up, they work hard without fail. Now it's off to the pet rescue centre to fix that monkey's tail. Welcome to my pet rescue centre. It's a hospital just for poorly pets. Let's see what's wrong with Mabel, shall we? Here she comes down our conveyor belt now. Robbo, what can you tell us about Mabel? Mabel is a type of monkey called a spider monkey. Spider monkeys spend most of their time up in trees and they use their long tail like another arm to grab on and swing from branches. Thanks, Robbo. But oh, look! There seems to be something wrong with her tail. There appears to be a knot in her tail. One of those other cheeky monkeys must have played a trick on her. Naughty monkeys. Robbo, how are you with knots? Perfect. Mabel, you have your tail back. Hey! It looks like Mabel is back to her old self again. What a fabulous day in the treatment room. See you next time. Bye. Henrietta Hen, what shape eggs have you laid? Square, circle, triangle, rectangle. Henrietta Hen, what shape eggs have you laid? Square, circle. Triangle, rectangle, Henrietta wants the right shape egg. It's an oval, an oval. Oh, my friend Henrietta, you lay lovely eggs. But what is the right shape? Can anybody guess? Is it a square? No, that's 
that's not right. Is it a circle? Close, but I'm not ready to bite. Is it a triangle? Is it a rectangle? No, it's an oval. An oval. Henrietta Hen, what shape X have you laid? Square, circle, triangle, rectangle. Henrietta Hen, what shape X have you laid? Square, circle, triangle, rectangle. Henrietta, what's the right shape? Egg, it's an oval, an oval. Our first animal today is Lucy the goldfish. Many people think that goldfish have trouble remembering things. This is actually not true. Goldfish have memories that last three months. I do hope Lucy remembers what she's come here for today. Hi Lucy, how can I help you today? Stop, stop, stop Lucy before you hurt yourself. Hmm, I think I may know what's wrong. But I need your help, Robbo. I think Lucy needs an eye test. Please can you get some words up on the screen for Lucy? One eyesight test coming right up. Lucy, can you read this? Don't worry, Lucy. K, R, A, B spells crab. Let's try another. Never mind, Lucy. Sh, a, l spells shell. Hmm, I know. Robbo, I think Lucy has a problem with her eyesight. Can you please fetch the reading goggles? Try these out, Lucy. They're super special goggles that make you see better. Sometimes humans need to wear glasses to help them see better too. A perfect fit. Let's see if that makes a difference. That's right, Lucy. Ish spells Fish! Well done! I think you just needed a pair of glasses, didn't you? Here comes Shane the koala. Shane is eating eucalyptus leaves, which are a koala's favourite type of food. This is very strange. Normally Shane is so happy. I wonder what's wrong with him. I think Shane might be homesick, but I wonder where home is. Let's show him some pictures of places around the world and see which one makes Shane happy. Italy. America. Australia. Shane is from Australia, which is on the other side of the world. Many people miss home when they are living somewhere different and they sometimes feel very sad and homesick. Well, let's sing a song to make him feel better, shall we? You're feeling homesick and that's because You're a long, long way from the land of Oz You miss visiting Sydney Opera House And going to the outback for a walkabout Lots of friends you know Cling on, don't let go We can call your friends back home You can scuba dive the Great Barrier Reef And have a barbie on Bondi Beach Look at the size of the Great Airs Rock Where many brave people have climbed to the top Cling on, don't let go You have lots of friends you know we can call your friends back home Cling on, don't let go You have lots of friends you know Cling on, don't let go We can call your friends back home
So there you go, Shane. Do you feel a bit happier now? And we have a little surprise for you, all the way from Australia. I think this one's for you, Shane. It's your cousin Bruce. Here comes Boris the pufferfish. Pufferfish scare other fish that want to eat them by swallowing large amounts of water, which makes their body bigger and balloon-like. Boris sure looks sad today. I wonder what the problem is. Boris, can you show us how you puff up, please? Hmm, I think we need to take a closer look. This is a magnifying glass. If you look through it, things look bigger. Ah, look everybody. There's a tiny puncture in Boris. This must be why he can't blow himself up. Robbo, a plaster please. One plaster coming right up. I'm sure that with this plaster, Boris will puff up again and be happy. Plasters are very useful because they help protect cups and can stop water escaping from a puffer fish. My next patient is Joe. He is a stick insect. Stick insects are some of the best creatures on the planet at camouflaging themselves. Camouflage is a way certain animals can blend in with their surroundings. It's a way of hiding from animals that might want to eat them. Joe? Are you there? I'm sorry, but I can't see you. Robbo, can you try and spot Joe? I don't think he's in there. I'm having trouble spotting Joe, Dr Poppy. Oh, there you are, Joe. Why are you sad? Oh dear, dear Joe. You're sad because you're sick of being ignored by people. Listen, Joe, it's not that we don't like you. We just don't see you. Wear these clothes and coat of many colours. Then we can see you. Don't go hiding in the trees no more. Or crawl through the bushes on the forest. You can wear these anytime you want to And we will see you Yes, we can see you Wow, look at that outfit, Joe. You look fantastic You really stand out I love the jacket It's a perfect fit You look amazing Orange, purple, blue and red and yellow They're all here for you Wear these clothes and coat of many colours we can see you Once you know about the friends you have You'll forget you ever felt so sad You can wear these anytime you want to And we will see you Yes, we can see you That looks so cool! Do you feel better now, Joe? And yes, we can see you! Lily is a breed of dog called a beagle. Did you know that a beagle could use its powerful sense of smell to follow another animal's tracks, even if they're buried under deep snow? Welcome, welcome, Lily. What seems to be the problem? You look very itchy, Lily. 
Shall we take a closer look at your fur and see what's making you so itchy? Let's use this magnifying glass. A magnifying glass helps us to see tiny things very clearly and in more detail. Aha! Just as I expected. You have jumpy, itchy little fleas having a party in your fur. Robbo, can you fetch the flea vacuum, please? Let's suck those little fleas right up. Let's count the fleas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. We got them all. Those pesky fleas are so troublesome. Look. They're carrying on with their party. Lily, you are now flea free. This is Gordon the hamster. Hamsters like Gordon are very good at digging. They create big burrows in the soil where they live. Hi Gordon, you look like you're enjoying your wheel there. Oh dear, this is not good. It looks like you're going to be sick. Have some water. Water makes you feel better by getting rid of headaches and keeping you refreshed. How often do you spin in your wheel, Gordon? Hmm, I think Gordon is travel sick. If you're going to play on your wheel for that long, you need something that will stop you feeling sick all the time. Ask your mummy or daddy to give you a spoonful of this every morning when you wake up and at night when you go to sleep and you can play all day long. Let's see how many circles Gordon can do in his wheel now, shall we? One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Fantastic, Gordon. You really are talented. If you've been playing all day and running round, then people say. It's time for a rest If you've been having some fun And laughing all the time in the sun Now here's what I suggest There's a time to come away When your eyes are feeling heavy And your body's trying to say Here's a message that's for everyone Sleep time for a great tomorrow, sleep tight Be kind to yourself, good night You can dream of adventures You'll feel bright and ready for another day Sleep tight Remember shouting hooray And learning lots of things as you play did you wake up refreshed? Now it's simple to know The way to get up ready to go A good sleep is the best There's a time to come away When your eyes are feeling heavy And your body's trying to say Here's a message that's for everyone Sleep tight for a great tomorrow, sleep tight Be kind to yourself, good night You can dream of adventures You'll feel bright and ready for another day Sleep tight Sleep tight For a great tomorrow, sleep tight Be kind to yourself, good night you can dream of adventures You'll feel bright and ready for another day Sleep tight Australia.
ostriches are the largest birds in the world. They are so big that they can't fly, but they have very powerful legs and they can run even faster than a zebra. Hello Oni, how can we help you today? I see, your tummy is very big. Does it hurt? Did you have a big lunch? And was it a healthy lunch? Ah, oh, I see. I think you have tummy ache. You need to make sure that you're eating healthy food, Oni. Isn't that right, Robbo? Correct. Every day, you need to eat lots of different foods, including fruit and vegetables, to stay healthy and have a happy tummy. Make sure you eat plenty of healthy fruit and vegetables, drink lots of water too, and I'm sure your tummy... <laughs> will start feeling better soon. Zebras have a striped pattern on their bodies to help them camouflage in the grasslands. Camouflage is when an animal blends in with its background so it can't be seen easily. Hello Zane, I don't think you would be able to camouflage very well today. You are black and pink, what happened? I see, you have sunburn. Did you spend too long in the sun? Going outside in the sunshine is lovely, but we must remember to protect ourselves from sunlight by wearing a hat and putting on sun cream. yourself from the hot sun. Robbo, could we give Zane some sun protection please? That's better. Take care in the sun please Zane. Who's next? And that's because you're a long, long way from the land of Oz You miss visiting Sydney Opera House And going to the outback for a walkabout Cling on, don't let go You have lots of friends you know Cling on, don't let go We can call your friends back home You can scuba dive the Great Barrier Reef Bondi Beach. Look at the size of the Great Airs Rock where many brave people have climbed to the top. Cling on, don't let go. You have lots of friends you know. Cling on, don't let go. We can call your friends back home. Cling on, don't let go. You have lots of friends you know. Cling on, don't let go. We can call your friends Jim 
chimpanzees live in tropical forests and are excellent climbers. They are very clever. They can use rocks to crack open nuts and can even make umbrellas out of leaves. They also love to play and have fun. Goodness me, Kwame! Are you sleepy? Are you sure? You're a bit wobbly. Watch out! You seem a little clumsy too. Did you get a good night's sleep last night? There, there, Kwame. I think you're overtired. Sometimes, when we're tired, we can be grumpy or get upset very easily. Robbo, can we have a tissue for Kwame, please? If you've been playing all day and running round, then people say it's time for a rest. If you've been having some fun and laughing all the time in the sun, now here's what I suggest. There's a time to come away when your eyes are feeling heavy and your body's trying to say here's a message that's for everyone sleep tight for a great tomorrow sleep tight be kind to yourself good night you can dream of adventures you'll feel bright and ready for a enough sleep each night so you can play the next day. I think you need to go to bed a little earlier tonight. Don't you, Kwame? Sleep tight, Kwame. Here comes Lucy, the goldfish. Many people think that goldfish have trouble remembering things. This is actually not true. Goldfish have memories that last three months. I do hope Lucy remembers what she's come here for today. Hi Lucy, how can I help you today? Stop, stop, stop Lucy before you hurt yourself. Hmm, I think I may know what's wrong. But I need your help, Robbo. I think Lucy needs an eye test. Please can you get some words up on the screen for Lucy? One eyesight test coming right up. Lucy, can you read this? Don't worry, Lucy. K, R, A, B spells crab. Let's try another. Never mind, Lucy. Sh, a, l spells shell. Hmm, I know. Robbo, I think Lucy has a problem with her eyesight. Can you please fetch the reading goggles? Try these out, Lucy. They're super special goggles that make you see better. Sometimes humans need to wear glasses to help them see better too. A perfect fit. Let's see if that makes a difference. That's right, Lucy. Ish spells fish. Well done. I think you just needed a pair of glasses, didn't you? Here comes Henrietta Hen. 
<laughs> Did you know that hens are omnivores? Which means that as well as eating seeds and vegetables, they also eat insects and small animals like mice. What seems to be the problem? Look! Henrietta's laid four eggs, but they're all different shapes and sizes and not at all the right shape for an egg. I think Henrietta has forgotten what shape egg she needs to lay. Robbo, shall we try and remind her? Henrietta Hen, what shape eggs have you laid? Square, circle, triangle, rectangle. Henrietta Hen, what shape eggs have you laid? Square, circle, triangle, rectangle. Henrietta, what's the right shape? My friend Henrietta, you lay lovely eggs But what is the right shape? Can anybody guess? Is it a square? No, that's not right Is it a circle? Close, but I'm not ready to bite Is it a triangle? Is it a rectangle? No, it's an oval An oval Henrietta Henrietta has laid a perfectly shaped egg. So now we know that oval is the right shape for an egg.